Hey y'all, the real Jimmy Roberts one here. Okay, so the reason you keep seeing that repeated use of me introducing the show and no recent footage is simply due to the fact we've been slow in moving studios around, plus the system crashed a few months ago, blah, blah, blah. But we will be broadcasting and recording from our usual station soon. So we're going to take another look at some curiosity navigational imagery. And the images come from Souls circa 1428 to 1448. And over the next several minutes, I hope you become as disturbed as I am. Okay, now take that as you may. Now, we've not applied enhancement software here at this point, and we'll end up bouncing back and forth a bit. I want you to see how the software is not making this stuff up, folks. Okay? It's important. So, many of you will recall this. A lot of people claimed bird, and it's easy to see why. I mean, but yeah, it looks like an East Texas turkey buzzard at first glance. It, you know, it really does. But y'all, it's everything else that is of concern. Don't waste your time on that thing up there. Why does this outer layer of this so-called butte look this way? It doesn't look right at all to me, and it's not. And this is not okay, folks. And I know we've covered this, but for those new to the channel, just to know that we are very careful with this advanced form of rendering, okay? From my experience so far with the software, uh, this is going to be pretty danged close. So what the Sam Hill is going on here? What is up with that? Now, as bizarre as all that is, I hold my beer as we look to the ground itself, right below. Now, does this appear wet to you once again? Now, maybe the software is making a mistake, but look, this looks like it could be water. We might be seeing something through the translucence of the water here. Is that a word? While this section is above the water, do you see what I'm talking about? It's fully exposed, the other being underwater. Now, at one point, the rover was around on the other side of this so-called butte. And that's the alleged bird as seen from the opposite side. Yeah, not a bird. But you know, what is it? And no comment. Now check this out. You might think, hey, cool, but not much to see. But no, 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 no. Don't think that. Not true at all. Look. And for those who will ask, well, what's the big deal? Because NASA has already said there was water. Well, look, what they stated in 2012 is that liquid water existed, but only under certain conditions. A flowing water, mud, standing puddles. No, they've never admitted to any of that. Now, they threw it out there and then basically minimized it immediately. Now, I don't know why they do what they do, but I do think it's interesting how the general public doesn't really realize what a big deal the admittance of any type water was. And 11 years later, and most people still don't get it, and they don't care. All right, now, this really gets interesting to me right here. I want you to look in the far right there's a very interesting slab. You can barely see. I mean, it, you can partially see it. It's covered up partially by what looks like a sheet of digital obfuscation or something. Is that even possible? Or is it digital? Or is there something actually out there covering this stuff? Now, this is another NavCam image just to the right of that one. Let's see if we can find that same area. And there it is. There it is right there in a different picture. And it really is exactly the same. It looks like a sheet of something is laid out over this stuff. Can you see that? What is going on here? I mean, this is this is bizarre. And you can look at the original, and, and it's the same way. It's just much clearer here. Now, we're an entirely different picture once again. This one's really telling. Look at this. That looks like a layer of something. And there's the original NavCam image. Back to the enhanced. There's a layer of something draped across a slab. And that's everywhere, folks. Well, I say it's everywhere because that texture appears to be all over the side of that so-called view. Now, let's just take a look across the uh, countryside here. You see all that covering this butte? This is that material. Something is there. 
there's a thin sheet of translucent material. Now it gets even more interesting. Do you see that rectangle with the bolts in it down there in the dirt or the mud or whatever that is? That's not part of the rover, folks. That's down there in the ground, exposed. You can see the bolts. There's the original, and there's the enhanced. You can see it in both. In fact, you can see the bolts are a little bit smeared. And here, once again, is that water? That's either something underneath it or a reflection. Look at that. I don't know which. It could be a reflection of the rover. If so, that's water. Well, are we having fun yet? Because <laughs> this is getting really interesting. You know what? And by the way, there is uh, our size reference, Martian Missy, from that original image with the bird, not bird, a five foot two human. Folks, we'll be back in one week. Every Wednesday at 10 a.m., we plan on having a full production. So we'll see you then. Later, y'all. <laughs>